So today we are going to learn about how to simulate the interfacing of LDR with that of ESP32. So how we can do that first? We will go to Google, we will write VOCV simulator. And this is the best online simulator after Tinkercad. Or we can say a bit better than Tinkercad because it also used to give us a lot of like options for ESP32 and Pi Pico boards. Now we need to scroll out and we will go and we will select ESP32. So this is our ESP32 board, okay? Now this is our ESP32 board and we, we need to go to this plus sign as you can see that. If you want to add a new part, you can click on this plus sign here we will go and we will search for LDR and here we got our photoresistor or LDR sensor this is our PCB packaged one now we, we need to connect its VCC terminal with that of 3.3 volt of ESP32 the ground with the ground of ESP32 and A0 with D2, okay, D2 pin of the, and these all pins that is D2, D4, D15 and all the, these are actually the GPIOs of ESP32. You can E1 uh, take analog reading on these pins and also digital one. So now we will go towards coding part. So here you can see that we have two functions that is wired setup and wired loop. And uh, the serial dot began 11,500. Actually, it is the baud rate. Okay, you are not supposed to worry about it. You just need to write this thing and name of the project as LDR readings. LDR readings, it will be printed on first serial monitor. Then we will go to wide loop here. We will also one more thing that you need to declare pin mode and pin number two is input two comma input. This is a bit necessary. Okay, to declare it as the input. So in wide loop, I will write int f is equal to or int a is equal to analog read of analog read of 2 okay because this is the name of the GPIO which is 2 D2 you are not supposed to write D2 it, it can create error okay so you just need to write pin number 2 or GPIO 2 after this is done we will write serial dot print ln that because this analog read function will read the analog readings on this pin number 2 and give it and then will give to like this integer a okay which is our uh, data pocket or data type okay uh, integer is data type and a is memory space okay uh, you can say a variable all the readings will be stored inside this a now we will write here a serial dot printl and a, a so whatsoever will be the value it will be printed on the serial monitor okay now we will run it out okay it will take some time because it is trial version Okay, now we can see that our values are 1001, okay, 1001 or like this, okay, we can even adjust them out, okay, like this and this, like this. Now we will click on this LDR, we, we can change the lumens or lux. Now you can see that as we are changing this out, we can have change values, okay, so 40, 63, okay, this is the max and 32 is the minimum value so 32 represents nearly 0 and 4063 represents 5 volts okay because 5 volt is being divided into 4063 uh, numbers okay it's a magnitude i'm talking about the magnitude so hopefully you got the concept that how you can use this ldr with the esp32 if you want to put any sort of check you can as yes, okay if you want to uh, put us uh, uh, check on 661 lux then you can write if and else conditions 
So this is all about LDR interfacing with ESP32. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.